What's going on? Andy Elliott here. You're looking over at this hot ass lady over here. Her name is Nadia. She is Luke Ward's wife. And you guys know Luke, number one solar sales rep and leader in the United States, three years running. This guy's made more money than anyone else. But the coolest thing is, is dude, he's creating and building an army. Me and Luke met, and I want to go into this real quick, but we met and he saw my team and he saw how Elliott Army runs and operates. And he's like, dude, this isn't a sales org, man. Like you guys truly like have something special. You guys are impacting people's lives. You're changing people's lives. Luke's like, dude, I went, I went in on this thing. So we start coaching. We start talking. We start, you know, like Luke's obviously a coach. He teaches people how to sell solar. He's extremely good. He's the best in the world at what he does. You guys know I'm a sales freak. But, dude, he took on this edge of, like, dude, we're not just going to build, like, like high year-to-dates. And we're not just going to take care of customers. We're going to, like, build an army. We're going to impact people's lives. And he's creating a movement. And you guys really are together. When I say him, I mean Nadia and him are doing it together, mm -hmm. right? They're, they're just doing something that's amazing. You know, their kids are awesome. Their life is awesome. Everything in the, in, in everything they do is beautiful. Um, we're very close. Um, I have people all around the world that message me. They go, Andy, you know, I want to make seven figures a year. I'm like, this guy. I'm like, this, this is the guy. If you want to make seven figures in under 12 months, you go join Luke Ward. That's it. And Luke is 10 minutes from me. So, like, I see him every... Uh, every week. I see his team every month, every week. I see them all the time. We're all together. So if you want to be close to me and you want to make seven figures, you need to know Luke Ward and Nadia. That's it. And uh, anyways, I'm going to turn it over to Luke. But by the way, if you're watching this, when you hear Luke and you're like, dude, oh my God, I'm in, which is what everybody's doing. You're building this big army and everybody's taking care of. Everybody's so happy. Dude, your shit's on fire. It reminds me of my company, but it's yours. And, um, you guys can join. Like, it's very simple. There's a, there's a number below. Just text it. All you got to do is text it and just say, hey, Luke, I want to join the Army, or I have some questions, and then Luke will take it from there. He'll personally reach out to you. By the way, he's looking for leaders, okay? This isn't just about selling and making money. I'll kind of save that part for you. But you're really looking to, like, truly, like, make some people some real money, take care of families, you know, make impact in the world. And you're a coach. Like, you're physically coaching these guys to become their best versions of themselves. I'm watching who these people are becoming. They're making a lot of money, and they're, they're, they're learning things from you. You're, you're kind of like a father figure to all these people. It's pretty cool, you know, and your mama, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure yeah. if they call young you Young mama. She's young mama. <laughs> yeah, you're young mama. That's right. Well, my, but my wife, like, everybody calls yeah. her mama yeah. because, like, mm -hmm. Like, she loves them. She takes care of them. Like, yep. her, like her heart is in, like, seeing them succeed, right? So, um, so Luke, why don't you rip, yeah. okay? And then, Nadia, any time that you want to go, <laughs> bam! Bam! When he says something, uh -huh. let's roll. Yeah. yeah. Let's All right. Roll. Yeah, awesome, man. Thank you for this. Like, the relationship that we've had together, it's it, reason why we resonate so well with each other because we're very similar, right? And so, ultimately, what we're looking for is we have a ton of warriors, right? We have a lot of warriors. We don't have enough generals, People in life are playing small all the time, and they're scared to, you know, turn the other turn the other corner there and become a leader and become a general. And so, what we're doing right now is we have all of these warriors, and there's warriors and training. They're generals in training, but we're really looking to kind of build out those generals. Like, if you really want to make a massive impact, if you want to make so much impact in your own life that it spills on over and it impacts the lives of others, and if you want to really make a massive impact in this world to knock the world off its axis, we want you. Right? We're not looking for duds. If you're one of those guys that's looking for an easy street, don't don't apply. Don't don't come work for me. I won't I won't have you. We're looking for those people that have super that are super, super ambitious and are driven and are committed and are bought in and kind of can be bought into something bigger than themselves. We're not just changing people, we're changing the world. And we do that with the cooperation of the, the Elliott Army. I mean, literally, it's synonymous with our brand as well. And so making a, a massive change in people's lives and not just selling solar, but building people up from the ground up and leadership development. What we want is more leaders. There needs to be more leaders on this planet. There's a bunch of warriors out here and what, warriors what need a leader. What is definition of a leader, right? Like, so like, like, obviously, you help guys make a lot of money. They learn how to sell. You self-develop them. Um, what are some qualities of these leaders? Um, so be, when you say that, I can be like, yeah, I want that too. Or, or that's yeah, uh, servants, 
for one, right? A teacher's heart. Like a they, bigger vision than they, themselves. A bigger vision than themselves, and they want to help others. They want to help others. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, it's living in congruence. You're, you're a perfect example of that. You live in absolute congruence. Like your life at home, your life at work, mm -hmm. your life at play is all in congruence, right? So we're looking for those types of people That's that true. can live in congruency where they're the same wherever they go, and they're always building people up. It's just have, you have to have this big heart of wanting to help others. Make so much impact in your own life, it spills on over. It's a ripple effect. Would, would, would you give a quick message to anyone in door-to-door -door sales or in solar sales that's watching this Yeah. that maybe was in it sometime they're not in anymore, okay? Or maybe they're in now, right? And there's a lot of stir up around other companies around the world, but your company's on fire, yeah. right? And always will be. Um, what, what would you say to those guys? That like, you know, maybe they see you and they're like, oh man, I'm in solar. Like, you know, that just, that's not happening over here. What would you say to some people that have some underlining quality and talents and they may be leaders and maybe no one else has ever realized that they've seen it. I mean, dude, listen, you're a leader. You see talents. Yeah. And a lot of people, they don't have leaders that see talents in them. They don't yeah. see that they're capable of more. And you guys are really good about saying like, this guy's capable of more. Right. And, um, you know, what would you say to anybody in the, in the door to door solar space that's in another company anywhere in the United States that's like, I want to join, that if you wanted them to join Luke's Ward team in Scottsdale, Arizona with us, what would you say to them? Well, first of all, you got you to gotta find the good in people, right? You've got to find the, I, taught, I learned that from you, but a podcast we did three, three times ago, right? Now, I always uh, typically look for the negative in people, but now I'm starting to find the good in people, mm -hmm. and I'm starting to encourage that and foster them to be the best versions of themselves, to live up to their highest potential. And so finding those types of people and fostering that and seeing it and believing it because everybody wants somebody to believe in them, right? And most people out there, if you're working for a company, you're just like, you're just a paycheck, right? They're like, if you got a manager, he's like, okay, he's this. Or if you got a, a, a company owner, you're just like, you're, you're like a number to them. But what you really want is someone that's really cares deeply and wants to encourage that. And the testimony to that leader is you becoming the best version of yourself. Mm. And so if you can find somebody that can believe in you and can foster that and can show you the way to show you how to sell over seven figures, make over seven figures in a single year in the solar, in the solar space, find that person. That person's me. I can show you how to do that. I will lift you up and I will guide you throughout that process. We stay super close with the team. We have a great culture. We stay super close with the Elliott Army. We stay super close with Andy because we understand and realize with a rising tide raises all ships. So find that person and then you wanna attach that person. You wanna figure out how to get there. And ultimately, whether you believe in yourself or not, if somebody else sees that in you, you don't wanna let them down. Mm, like you're like, you living up to a higher standard and you're already bought into a bigger version of yourself because somebody else believes that in you. And we're those types of people. We're gonna believe into you until you can believe in yourself and we're gonna foster that change. We're gonna give you the skills and the tactics and stuff to be a better person, to be a leader, to be a general. Just imagine that, being a general of an army. Imagine what that looks like. Imagine the impact that you get to make. Imagine your legacy long after you're gone. Mm -hmm. You affect the world by being a better version of yourself and living up to the highest potential of yourself. Most people don't live up to the highest potential of themselves because they're scared and they live in a state of fear and they're worried about the critics. Fuck the critics. Don't live in bondage. Be the best version of yourself and imagine yourself living up to this highest potential. I have such high dreams and ambitions that I can encompass all of my other team. The team can have the same ambitions and same dreams as I do and it can encompass in, in this umbrella that I have because my dreams are so big. Mm -hmm. And I believe that in other people. And I believe it's not about my story, it's about not about my journey, it's about your story and you living up to the best version of yourself and being something your family can be proud of, being something that you can be proud of, changing literally your legacy that will be long remembered long after you're gone. Imagine what that looks like. What does that look like? What does that feel like? Most people never dare to dream. They never dare to dream. They live in this box. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. Listen, if somebody else is performing at this level, you have the ability, the capacity to form, to live at the same level that they're living at. There's nothing different mm -hmm. about them or you. Most people get stuck on looking at, looking at the differences rather than looking at the similarities. What we want to encourage you to do is look at the similarities and just understand and realize that if they've done it, you can do it. And the best way to success is to find someone that's performing at the level that you want to perform at, get deep in their pocket. That's why I love Andy so much. This guy's performing at massive. He's, he's taking massive action and he's making waves. 
Everybody wants to be attached to that because they know that if they could just get a glimpse or get close to that, that with the rising tide raises all ships. Mm -hmm. And so latch on to that. That's what we offer. That's what we're able to do. And the guys that we brought on, massive transformations in their lives. Mm -hmm. Brought on a welder. Dude, this guy's made $25,000. He was a welder before he got here. He's a warrior. He's a general in training. It's just going to take a while for him to get, get up there. So if you're in the solar space and you tried being a manager and maybe you failed, it was a lack of leadership. It was a lack of knowledge. You didn't know how to do that. So if you come here, we're going to teach you the skills of leadership skills. First, you're going to lead yourself, and then you're going to lead others. And then you're going to make massive impact in their lives. Yeah, we say if there's a Bam. way. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Bam! Hey there, sales warriors. Are you tired of facing objections left and right, struggling to close deals, and watching your competitors snatch away your prospects? Well, you're not alone. Recent surveys indicate that a whopping 72% of sales professionals struggle with handling objections, leading to missed opportunities and lost revenue. But fear not, there's a solution to this all too common problem. Enter Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook, your ultimate guide to mastering sales strategies and objection handling like a pro. Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook isn't just a collection of tips and tricks, it's a comprehensive roadmap to success packed with actionable insights and real world examples that you can start implementing right away. And here's the best part. Andy's playbook isn't just for seasoned sales veterans. Whether you're a rookie looking to kickstart your career or a seasoned pro aiming to sharpen your skills, there's something for everyone in this playbook. So if you're ready to arm yourself with the knowledge and confidence you need to crush objections, close more deals, and skyrocket your sales career, don't hesitate. Click the link below to grab your copy of Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook today. Remember, success favors the prepared. Equip yourself with the tools you need to outshine the competition and become a sales powerhouse. The time to elevate your game is now. Now let's make this your best year yet. Now let's get back to the video. He's yeah, so open-minded. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a lot of these guys, they told me he's like, he's my father figure that we never had. And so I'm really Special. proud of him. Yeah. Look at that. Love you guys. You, if there's a wave coming in, right? You yeah. want to be two steps ahead of it and you want to ride it in. Yeah. Right. But what happens if there's a wave and you're two steps behind it? It's smashed. And you, and you miss and you miss out on it and yep. you stay the same. Um, can we talk about timing right now? Maybe with solar. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, everybody says now's the time. But, like, don't you really believe out of all the opportunities that exist in this world? I mean, I try to weigh them out. I look at all these different opportunities, and I just see this, like, really good opportunity for, you know, two or three good years for any human being to have a really good earning opportunity and just give everything they have. When you do the right thing at the right time, magic happens. Yes. When you do the right thing at the wrong time, it doesn't matter. And I'm sure you've done the right thing at the wrong time. Nothing yep. worked. It's like planning crops in the winter yeah it's like nothing's happening but you know in the spring well they come up you know i'm just as an analogy right like um now i feel like is the right time for anybody and everybody watching this to understand that now is the right time in your industry and that's why like doing it with a guy like you you they can be two steps ahead and they can ride this wave in yeah um, why is right now the best time for solar why in your opinion well well with, with you First and foremost, the, the solar industry, there's only 7% of the market that's been tapped. So just imagine, there's 93% of people that haven't made a decision to go solar. In Arizona, the sunniest state in the country, solar makes sense. It's ecological for everybody involved. It's a win or win bigger, first and foremost. The customer gets to win. They get to save thousands of dollars. You get to win. You get to make thousands of dollars. The installers that are feeding their families with the, the labor that they're putting in get to feed their families because of what we're doing, and that's a win. And the utility companies get to win because there's an excess amount of energy that they desperately need right now. So when you get into a relationship where it's a win or win bigger, it's ecological for everybody involved, jump in there right now. It's not always going to be like this. This is a very disruptive technology, but right now, we have the ability, the capacity to make millions of dollars in this industry. So what you're able to do is leverage this for your platform. A lot of people always want to say, what do they want to do? They want passive income. They want real estate. Dude, I own five sets of apartment complexes because of this, this opportunity, right? I own five yeah, different sets. you can't sets. get passive without a good paying no, you, How are you going to ever job. buy an apartment complex yeah. if you're making $120,000 a year? It's yeah. never going to happen. Yeah, that's what I said. Like two or three good years of earning opportunity could give them a lifetime of passive income and choices. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. A lifetime of opportunity, lifetime to be able to invest your excess money because when you make a million dollars, you have an excess amount of money that you can invest in that now makes money for you. Not only will you come here and you'll learn how to be a badass sales guy, you'll be the best. Um, you'll also be able to learn, you know, 
financial skills, yeah, you teach your guys how to build wealth. Yes, okay. they open up a business. You open up an LLC. You don't want to be a sole proprietor. You don't want to pay all the money in the, to, the, to the government that you just, uh, you, you don't want to throw away all that money. So the first and foremost thing is I, I'm going to teach them financial literacy. A lot of times it's crazy how many people come in here. The education system does not teach you about financial literacy. Mm -hmm. They teach you enough to be a slave. Literally, the education system was founded so that they could make good slaves out of people. They don't teach you that shit. They didn't teach me that stuff. Mm -hmm. It was a hard-fought one of experience that I had to go through to be able to have some financial literacy. Because when you start making money, you want to protect You want to protect that money, and you want to start investing in things. And mm -hmm. you want to start opening up a business so you don't have to throw all your money away to the government. So you not only get this, but you become a better person. You, you, you find out how to live in congruency. Maybe you're suffering from some sort of addiction, right? Maybe you're suffering from something that you continue to, to repeat the insanity over and over and over again. What we actually do is we're in leadership development and development for my team, we teach you how to overcome all those things. I've been through adversity. I've been through challenges. Dude, I, I always consider myself an underdog. From where I've come from to where I'm at today, I'm an underdog. And the great thing about this is like, I've been through all, these, all this bullshit and I'm gonna help you not make the same mistakes I did, and I'm gonna give you the keys to be able to bypass that and shoot your way up to shoot your way up to the success ladder. And so ultimately, that's what you get when you come and work for me. I'm able to get a leverage that, and I'm gonna show you how to be the best version of yourself, whether you have an incredible, amazing, beautiful wife that we are absolutely, we're best friends. This is my best friend right here. She is absolutely amazing. I have wonderful kids. Bam! I live, Bam. I live in a, I live in a, I live in a, a house that was beyond my wildest dreams. I have a boat, I have a can, I have yeah. all this shit. All, all, all your team is like, Luke lives in a mansion. Yeah, <laughs> they do. I, don't th I think your house, man, I'm like, dude, next, next level. I mean, I'm always shooting for the next level, but here's the idea, I started from nothing. Maybe that resonates with you. Maybe you come from a, a wealthy family. I could teach you something there as well. I could teach you. I could teach any. I could teach you if you don't know. If you're not making seven figures, if you're not making two million dollars, if you haven't led a team of people, I can teach you how to do that. If you if you're struggling with some sort of addiction, or if you're struggling with repeating the same shit over and over again, I can teach you how to bypass that and shoot your way up the success ladder. Mm. And so, and not only that, but I'm going to show you a way to make tons of cash. You make tons of cash. You're going to change your family's legacy. Your future generations of your family, you're gonna change the future generations of your legacy as well. And so ultimately, that's why people are attracted to you because you teach them how to do that and you encourage that and you foster that. And so what we have this ability, we have a practical, uh, practical application that you just apply. It's like baking a cake and I talk about this all the time. Like you might not be bakers, you might have never baked anything before in your life and I'm not a baker, but if I had a recipe and I'd do this, 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 I get to turn out and make a cake versus making a, a rock or a cookie, it's gonna turn out to be a cake as long as I follow directions. I have a proven recipe of seven figure success and I have a proven recipe to make you the leader that you were meant to be. I believe that, and your team, well number one, you're living proof, right? Um, and everybody knows it and you've had a track record of continuing to do it, which means it works, right? They say if you do it one time, it's like this, if, you, if I make a shot from half court, you're like, all right, do it again, Yeah, right? That's right. And if, yeah. I do it, if I do it a second time, you're like, do it again. <laughs> and if I do it a third time, you're like, all right, you're really good. <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah. that's the deal. And you yeah. just keep doing it. So everybody's like, all right, he's the best in yeah. the industry. Um, I got a shirt that I'm making, right? It's uh, you know me, I'm always like thinking of sayings, yeah. right? Like bloodline breaker, yeah. like total recreation. Like I'm thinking of all these things. I got this new shirt. Are you coming to the Patrick Bet David event yes. this weekend? Okay, cool. Yeah. I figured it, but I just, um, you know, I'm so always ADD all over the place. I ask, I got the shirt and it says, come back kid. Oh, damn. Come back, yeah, that's what I'm talking kid. about. Bam. Which means, yeah. yes, which means like, hey, like I don't care where you are. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to come back. Yeah. Like you can knock me down. I'm going to come back. 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 I love that. I just keep, that's a genius idea. Yeah, just keep that's coming back. Genius. Yeah. So I was just thinking like, I always think of these things, but my point is you're the comeback kid. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that's what you're doing. She said all these guys are like, look up to you yeah. as a father figure. Well, number one. Because like you know where they're at, like you don't. They don't have to go put themselves in in your shoes when you were younger, right? They can put yourself in your shoes by the way that you explain. Like don't do this because like that's not good, and everybody needs a good mentor, a good father figure, uh, you know, good leader in their life. You know what I'm saying? I always say people will work for their mentors over money. Yeah. But if you can work for your mentor and make money, that's called heaven on earth. Yeah. Like that's heaven on earth. Um, so I had you talk to the people that were in door to door that have been in sales. Um, we talked about leadership, what you're looking for, what your company stands for, how you guys are operating, why solar now, why with you today, how everybody right now, like if, if they're wanting more, like they, they jump, if they want to be close to us, they jump, they, they move. It's like, 
Patrick Bet David, which we're having an event this weekend with Patrick Bet David, he's going to be here in Scottsdale. He says one thing I love. He says, make bold moves. Yeah. Okay, like make bold moves. Be willing to make a decision, right? The, the more successful you'll be, I can judge your success by how quick you can make a decision. Mm. If you can't make a decision quick, you can't mm. be successful, right? Like people are like, well, I don't know. Dude, you, everything you just said you wanted, I don't believe it. Mm. How do I know if you're serious about you want? Speed and urgency, mm. okay? If you really wanted it, you would do it. That's just the way it works. That's the way that it works. Like yeah. we don't think about things that we know we want. If it was something we didn't want, then we'd have to think about it. But if we knew we wanted it, we would do it because we've always wanted that. And so, like, if anybody's ever really want to be successful, like, here's your opportunity. Make sure you text Luke right now and make sure you say, hey, man, I want to join the team. Let's go. And by the way, you, they can join with the family. They can join with the kids. They can join with you guys. Love that stuff. Yeah. They can join being young and 18 or 22. I mean, you know, we talked about Dean Graciosi, right? His daughter, um, her boyfriend is 17 years old. He's knocking awesome doors kid. with you. Yeah, awesome first kid. day he was out in the doors. He called me. He goes, I just made $1,500. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like. And, but the kid's like, dude, he goes, I would do this for free. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I would literally do this awesome. for free. He's like, I just love what I'm learning. Um, what would you say to anyone? Because I have a massive sales uh, industry, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody, uh, by the way, what is sales? Sales is communication. Maybe you do, you're in customer service. Maybe you're in hospitality. Somebody could be in hospitality, right? Yeah. And you know, hospitality jobs are normally salary, mm -hmm. right? A lot of women, a lot of men, I'm just going to say like full general, if you're good at communicating, if you're good at talking to people, if you genuinely like helping people, if you're a hard worker and you're a hospitality and you're making salary, you switch over to commission, you get rich. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you're doing it and you're selling your dreams for a salary, right? So what would you say to anybody in any sales organization that has never done solar, never done door to door, when they hear it, they go, ooh, I would never do that, yeah. right? I'm just making a point, right? Yeah. Like they would, they would never do that. They're also never going to earn seven figures. Right. Okay. Um, if somebody makes a hundred thousand and it takes them ten, and then they're going to do that for ten years, they could join with you and make a million dollars in one year, or work for ten years and make a hundred thousand. Yeah. It's a million in a year, or ten years for a hundred thousand a year, and you give up ten years of your life. Yeah. And you know that's ten years of opportunities that you can't take advantage of. That's ten years you can't invest. So you have this chance now. What would you say to people that follow me that are in hospitality, that are good communicators, that mm -hmm. believe in themselves, or, or or they're the welder? Yeah. They're the yeah. hardest worker in landscaper. the room. Landscaper. Yeah. Landscaper. Yeah. Yeah. Landscaper. Yes, yes. Let's yeah. talk to the hardest workers in the room yeah. who've never said, well, I'm not good at sales, yeah. right? Like the welder's like, I'm not good at sales, yeah. but like I love what you guys stand for, right? Yep. Like what you can do when someone's just willing to do the work yeah. and be and have grit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have a conversation with those people about yeah. the kind of coaching because a lot of them don't know that you're a coach mm -hmm. and that you have a sales training program to teach solar guys to make seven figures a year. And when people come work for you, you actually train them and teach them and they have access to all of this. So for somebody that isn't in this space, that's like that, you know, like that couldn't be me. What would you say to those guys? Because yeah. I have tons of people that I think that if they crossed over they would be very surprised as long as they had the grit and they're willing to work hard that dude, they could take the way that they treat people now, now that nice, that hospitality, that love and dude, they could skyrocket. Yeah. Well, first, if you're following Andy Elliott, something I know about you, you want to be a better version of yourself and you're following this guy because you know that he drops nuggets all the time so that you can better yourself. The other thing that I tell everybody that I work with, it's never a coincidence that you're watching this and it's a never coincidence if I call you, that's not a coincidence. God has created that for a purpose. God starts preparing the soil of your mind. If you're watching Andy Elliott or you're following Andy Elliott or something that he says resonates with you, you know that you have a higher potential than what you're actually living up to at this point in time. And you're looking for Andy Elliott or someone to elevate you to the next level. And so God starts preparing the soil of your mind and then the seed is planted, right? Once the soil is fertilized and it's in a good spot, that seed will be planted and it grows up to produce fruit. I've taken a landscaper. He was 21 years old when I got him. And it, by the time he was 24, he made $780,000. This kid is an introvert. Like he's the complete opposite of me. He's low energy. He's good looking. I'll tell you that. He's like a model. But mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, this kid was like a landscaper before he came and worked for me. He made $780,000 last year. It changed his life in the period of two years. I just brought on a, uh, a welder. This guy was a welder. Right? He was welding stuff. I met him at the Elliott event. I recruited him. He's made $25,000. Like these types of people, I don't care where you're at in life. If you have a desire 
And if you're ambitious, if you're committed, if you're disciplined, if you're coachable, and if you're bought in, you can do anything. And this is the opportunity that God has been, is God has given you right now to take advantage of, to plant the seed and grow up and produce fruit. How would you like to make a million dollars a year? Just imagine that. You probably can't imagine that, especially if you're one of these service jobs where you're making $40,000 a year. That's beyond you. That's like some, you're like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. But you can do that. I'm a testimony of being able to do that. Like if I got what I uh, got, what I should have get, but been given from my life, I would be making like $50,000 a year living in some trailer, mm -hmm. right? But I didn't. I reached for the stars and I hit the moon. And this is the opportunity that you have. I don't care what space you come into. It first starts with that desire. And it starts with the ambition. You know that you were created for something more. You know for a fact you were created for something more. This is the opportunity. Let the seed be planted and grow up and produce fruit. I don't care where, what, where, what you're doing. You could be a welder. You could be, in the, you could be a server. You could be the hospitality industry. I don't care where you're at. If you just have that desire and you're ambitious, we can foster that seed and we can nurture that seed so it grows up and produces fruit. Hey there, sales warriors. Are you tired of facing objections left and right, struggling to close deals, and watching your competitors snatch away your prospects? Well, you're not alone. Recent surveys indicate that a whopping 72% of sales professionals struggle with handling objections, leading to missed opportunities and lost revenue. But fear not, there's a solution to this all too common problem. Enter Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook, your ultimate guide to mastering sales strategies and objection handling like a pro. Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook isn't just a collection of tips and tricks, it's a comprehensive roadmap to success packed with actionable insights and real world examples that you can start implementing right away. And here's the best part. Andy's Playbook isn't just for seasoned sales veterans. Whether you're a rookie looking to kickstart your career or a seasoned pro aiming to sharpen your skills, there's something for everyone in this playbook. So if you're ready to arm yourself with the knowledge and confidence you need to crush objections, close more deals, and skyrocket your sales career, don't hesitate. Click the link below to grab your copy of Andy Elliott's Sales Playbook today. Remember, success favors the prepared. Equip yourself with the tools you need to outshine the competition and become a sales powerhouse. The time to elevate your game is now. Now let's make this your best year yet. Now let's get back to the video. One more thing I wanna cover, and by the way, that's awesome. Talk about your culture. Yeah. Because I think this is important because you're the you're the teacher, right? You you coach everybody. You're in the field with these guys. I see you take them by the hand, go in, help them, show them how to do stuff. You have this you have this culture though in this environment. Can we talk about the people that are in y'all's company? Yeah. Because like enough about you because yeah. you're amazing and like now I want to come. But then I'm like, well, who else is on the team? Right. Let's talk about some of those people. Yeah. Here's the great thing, like uh, like your company. Here's the here's the awesome part about this this culture that we have. Everybody exhibits some some quality traits, right? They're, they're all gonna be ambitious. They're all shooting to be a better version of themselves. It's competitive, but it's encouraging. Like you're around a bunch of guys, we stay super close. We always are having barbecues, we're on the boat, we're on the Can-Am, we're staying super close. Everybody's usually at my house every single weekend. She calls in my kids, all of these people at my house. We have 20 or 30 people there. Every single weekend, I'm really pouring into people and we're pouring into each other. So everybody kind of partners up. Like I get two guys that are partners, I got two other guys. But ultimately what happens is, is it comes down to the attitude. Everybody believes in something so much more. And when you can get on that, this goes back to the rising tide. You're gonna just float up with the rest of the ships. If you're a negative Nancy, you're probably not gonna fit in, just to be honest with you. If you're like talking shit, and you're just complaining and stuff all the time, you're probably not gonna fit in. Somebody will call you out but they're gonna call it out in, in a loving, in a loving it's like manner. Call you up, yeah, yeah. Like you're better so, than that. So like, dude, come on, bro. Like, come on. You know that you're you're so much more. And so ultimately, like the the guys and stuff that we have, we're all kind of bought in. We're all kind of drive. We're all we're all in this in this thing together. And and ultimately, it comes down to everybody kind of having empathy where someone's at. I have some guys that are kind of like struggling a little bit. They're just about ready to break that learning curve. Everybody's encouraging them. Maybe they'll get a deal. They'll blast out. I got a deal. Everyone's like, yeah, hell yeah, everybody. Every single person is like, dude, hell yeah, bro, good job. And so it's really an encouraging environment. Mm -hmm. We're still competitive. Guys are still competing with each other, but we're all lifting each other up. You're not in one of some organization where there's like backbiting and gossip and all that bullshit. I don't, we, don't, we don't tolerate that. That's not where we're at. And nobody wants to be a part of that. That's toxic. Yeah. This is probably the most loving, uh, positive environment you could ever be a part of. Yeah, it's it, like loving killers. It's, it, it really comes down to that. Yeah. It's encouraging competitiveness. 
Like it's encouraging yeah. competitiveness. So like everybody's competitive, but they're always lifting each other up. And, and the group, real group of guys and stuff, we stay super close together. Most people have come from all over the United States. I had a guy from come from New York, I come from Atlanta, guy from Florida, guys driving out from South Carolina right now. One guy came from Kansas. Like all of these guys have come from all over the place to come out here and be close to us. Mm -hmm. And they want to be close to the Elliott Army. They want to be close to us, and they want to kind of just be total immersion inside this. And when you come from another state and you come out here, dude, you have no. Uh, it, like you come out here, you're going to succeed no matter what. There's no option of failure. So it really puts you in the driver's seat. Like, dude, I don't have any distractions. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to focus on being the best version of myself. And I'm going to be around a real group, a good group of people. One of the guys was like, dude, I've never been around an environment like this. Mm -hmm. I've never had all of these people that were so encouraging and loving. I've never had this before. Mm -hmm. Dude, like, I feel like this is super special. Like every one of these guys that come out here, they say these things. You know, and it's because we foster that environment. If you're in a positive environment where everybody's kind of lifting each other up yeah. and we don't tolerate bullshit and gossiping and backbiting, dude, like you're in a good organization that you want to be a part of and you want to actually contribute, not just be a taker. You take sometimes, but you contribute as well. So everybody's like feeling like they want to contribute. Everybody wants to perform at the level that I see them at and that they see each other at. Yeah, anybody can be good. Anybody can be good, but in order to become great, you have to be in an environment like this to be great. Yeah. Because good and great are two totally different things. Yeah. And then, by the way, I think I would call your environment like a hero making machine. Yeah. Like it's just, it's just, if you get in there, it makes heroes. Yeah. Like you just make badasses. You like that? Yeah, I do. That's how I coined that term. Like, I got to write some shit down. Hero, uh, hero I, there's making a couple machine. things I got to write down that like Andy that. said so far. Um, Nadia, so we're going to end this podcast yep. because everybody just got Luke's heart, right? And his brain and what he is, and he's a machine. But he also like just cares. He lives for a bigger vision than himself. I always say the quality of your life will always come down to the level of your leadership. Mm -hmm. The reason why you guys have a badass life is because he's a really good leader, but also you're a really good leader, right? Because you keep this guy in line, <laughs> right? Yeah, because absolutely. he because he's a wildcat, right? Like my wife keeps me in Sometimes, line, yeah. right? Um, what, what are a couple things, because Luke said all this about himself, mm -hmm. right? And, and I asked yeah. him, and every bit of it's true. What are a couple things we'll end that you love about Lee, uh, Luke? And when people come to join, like how much he cares, like what he does, how he is, how the, you know this man more than anybody. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said before, he's definitely a father figure for a lot of these guys. And a lot of these guys do look up to him and just seeing him coach and mentor them and become a better version of themselves. It's powerful and just being around the association. Your association is everything. Like you were saying earlier, find the mentor, find the coach, and w look at somebody's who, how you wanna live and run with them. Mm -hmm. So people can join you yeah. guys, and when they do, they obviously, it is yeah. a company, yeah, right? Absolutely. But it's more like a family. Absolutely. Does it feel like more like a family than it yeah. is a company? Yeah, absolutely, it's more like a family. That's cool, yeah. right? Yeah. We work hard, then we play hard. I love it, man. Yeah. Guys, I made Nadia get on here because <laughs> she's the key to it all. She's the missing piece to the puzzle. And um, a lot of the times, you're right there by his side. Always. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, or you're always by his side, but, you know, yeah. not always on camera, right? Yeah. So we were like, you're getting on here. Get your butt <laughs> over here. And then um, yeah. she's amazing. Guys, if you're watching this, I'm going to tell you this. You know real, you know fake. Everybody knows 99% of the stuff on social media is fake, okay? Uh, we don't make cat videos. We don't, <laughs> we, don't, we don't do stuff that's entertaining. You know, we, we just tell the truth how real success works, how people can really build a life that they want, um, how really discipline is really pretty easy. Um, regret is hard. Mm. And a lot of people, they're just honestly going to die with regret. And it's because when they had an opportunity, they didn't jump on it. And Luke explained why solar is really important now. Only 7% of the world has solar, or the United States. He's like, that's 93% left. I mean, guys, come on. Like, we're, we're about to kill it. We're in the sunniest state in the world, which is Arizona. And the sun's always high. The electricity bill's always high. He gave you lots of reasons why it's really good and beneficial for people. He goes, it's either a win or a win bigger. You literally get to recreate your life. You get to become a better person. And you get to make a shit ton of money. And you get to be coached by one of the best in the game. And you can be close to us. You can be single and join us, or you can have a family and join us. You can be someone who's been in door-to-door -door sales or been in solar, or you can be someone who literally hasn't. But you love people, and you know you're willing to work hard, and you'll have thick skin, and you're ready to learn. And then, like, dude, your whole life changes. And so, like, that's why we make these podcasts. 
and we make them for the ones that want to win. Okay. I think, I think God sometimes makes, I sent this the other day to your group, but he makes people that like aren't successful. They never change. They're undisciplined. They don't take care of their families so that we have an opportunity to see if we don't get our shit together, what we can end up looking like. Mm. And like, that just scares me to death. So like, I know what winning looks like and I know what losing looks like, okay? And what is a winner? It's somebody, just take a loser and then you just flip it and you do the opposite of what losers do, which is winning. All we do is win. And I love Luke. He said, hey, I find the best in people. I used to look at the negative things that people did and said, oh, well, this guy does this or this. And now I look at it and I go, no, no. But listen, you understand this guy's like this and he is also doing that. That means that he can make it. You can push through and this thing can happen. We need more people like that in this world. That's why the greatest scarcity in this world is leadership. That's it. And so like you learn all these qualities here. A couple good years. I don't know how old you are. A couple good years set you up financially for the rest of your life to be able to put a financial fence around your family. Like, that's priceless. I mean, is your family in a good place right now if something happened to you? Are they in a good place? If they're not in a good place, this is your chance, okay? A couple good years. You can invest it. You can, you can take care of your family. You can have fun. You can do whatever you want. But at least you'll have choices. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, we love you guys. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. It is as real as it gets. So in a world where there's fake stuff, if you've been looking for real, you found it. And if you want an opportunity, take action. Text the number, guys. We love you. Nadia, love you. Luke, love All right, you, bro. Awesome. All right, guys. We'll see you. Hey, by the way, if they want to follow you on social media, how do they find you? Luke Ward Official. That's it. That's Luke it. Ward Official. We love you guys. If you want to hit them up, you can DM them there. But if not, text the number, and Luke will reach out himself. See you in the next podcast. Let's kill it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.